Jumping a Harley, it's just different. You can really feel the weight of that thing when you go 70 plus feet on it, and you know that it's not made for that. You think you're supposed to go fast, and that's what you do, you just pin it. A Harley, the weight carries the bike. And I've jumped uh, like 75 foot in first gear and barely on the throttle. I don't know if I ever want to figure out what second gear can do. I got introduced to motorcycles when I was three years old. My dad got me a PW50. I actually have a Polaroid of the first day I ever rode. My dad <laughs> took the Polaroid and then it says future motocross champion on it. From four years old till I was about 18, I raced like religiously with my dad. That's pretty much all we did. I think I was transferring to 60s at the time from the 50 class. And that's when you learn how to jump and everyone was jumping and everything. And I ended up taking a whole summer off of racing because I couldn't jump and I was just frustrated with that at the time. But I ended up riding a lot of BMX. I just started jumping and jumping and jumping. And then I came back the next year, like fresh learning how to jump things. And then from there, it was like no stopping me. I, uh, I jumped everything at every track. I was. One of the smallest kids there jumping the biggest jumps and it heavily influenced what I did on the motorcycle. After that, I never stopped doing BMX or motocross. I still got a BMX bike laying around here somewhere. <laughs> The whole Harley Hoogan movement was crazy. There was uh, a few brands, Speed Merchant, My Machine Co, and myself for Rusty Butcher. At one point, we just like kind of showed up to every track and we're like, hey, will you guys let us ride? Hey, will you guys let us ride? And we kept doing that and doing that. And we just kept riding at any track that would give us a race. And we didn't have a name, we didn't have nothing at the time. We were just showing up to ride. And then out of nowhere, we got dubbed uh, Hooligan. I just try to spread the word as much as I could. You know, I would send photos to all my sponsors. I would send photos to Harley Davidson. I would send them videos. I would send them anything I could to get them to post about hooligan racing, about Rusty Butcher, and just pump up everything that we were doing. It's literally about just having fun with your friends. We want no money on the line. We just want it to be about like going out and have a good time. I always tell my riders, Checkers, wreckers, do wheelies, burnouts, and give everyone a good show, you know? And that's what we're about. <laughs> 